Remember, folks, I'm just a Muppet in a chair. Don't take me seriously. Howdy, folks. Hi, guys. Guess what? We're getting chicken into... Chicken butt. Chicken butt? He said, guess what? Chicken butt. We're getting into... peep to peep peep to peep peep to peep peep to peep peep Oh, my God. Oh, peep I'm show. Over, I'm over here now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, we're starting uh, season four, episode one. It's called Sophie's Parents. Ooh, so this should be. Parents. This should be uh, interesting, to say the least. Definitely. But apparently, we're in the good, good season. Oh, we this... had to get through three seasons to get to the good oh, one. Oh, okay. Well, I thought the other <laughs> ones were good, so... To see all these comments, like, you're in season four, you're finally into the good episodes. We had to well, get there. Why did I start with the first three, four? Because I thought, I thought they know. were good. You need a background story. Yeah, I, I, but I thought the first three seasons were good. I thought they were good, too. You know, that's not a good selling point for a show. Like you gotta, you gotta get all the Ooh. way to season seven. But I feel about that way about um, Parks and Recreation and The Office. Oh yeah, it gets so much better as the seasons go on. Yeah, but uh, if you're trying to get people to watch your show, you don't. You shouldn't be like skip these seasons or. I you gotta, you gotta get through all these other episodes to get to the good stuff. You know what I mean? I feel like Game of Thrones. No, I mean, the first episodes I feel like... Let's not talk about Game of Thrones. Okay, sorry. Because <laughs> the end of that show sucked. I never saw House the, of the Dragon. I liked House of the Dragon, though. Pretty, oh, I pretty guess good. they're not going to come back with a new one. No, probably not. I was reading that online. They're going to make a different spinoff, though. Uh, who knows? There's going to be gonna like do. a Jon Snow one. I mean, they should continue with that one, because that one was... Uh, yeah, I one. liked it. But uh, anyway, enough chit chat. Peep Show season four, episode one. Peep Sophie's peep. parents. Let's check it out. Remember to like, subscribe, do whatever you want. Okay. All right. Here we go. I don't know, Mark. Yours is very expensive. So it's the wedding list. If oh. some dupe wants to buy us the gold standard you guys of are sugar 20s. bowls, I say milk them till they're dry. Oh, we are. I just think, if our relationship were a sugar bowl, it would definitely be this one. How the fuck did it come to this? I'm getting married to a woman I may not love, and I've got stupid, fashionable married. hair all yep. over my face. And he might not love her? Mind? Nope. No, sure. Of course not. It's only a sugar bowl. Hopefully I won't even get married. If I do, eventually it'll get chipped or broken. Then I'll get the sugar bowl of my dreams. So what are you going to wear for my birthday? Um, some of my clothes. It'd be nice to get all <laughs> spruced up, meet Mum and Dad. That's a so, you answer. That's a you answer. That's a Brian answer. Uh, I, f I feel uneasy that we have the same thing going on here. It looks better on you. <sighs> it better. <laughs> it does. Yeah. I like, I don't know Even why. Even though it's kind of ginger. I like. I got a ginger face. I don't know if I've seen too many guys with that hair do. But when you did it, I was like, put me to war. Let's go. Put you in a war. <laughs> yeah. I don't okay. know. I like it. <laughs> no need for new stuff. I've, I've got three pairs of trousers and loads of shirts that aren't worn out. But they don't go with your new look. I'm a bearded concubine. What about this? You do know who that is, don't you? Yeah, it's Chairman Mao, isn't it? Exactly. The, the man was responsible for the deaths of 60 million people. I don't want him on my chest. 60 million? That's more than Stalin, isn't it? It's not a competition, Soph. Oh my Although God. Although if it was, yeah. Mao would probably win. Oh, these are nice. Try these on. This is, this is just a zip. There's no pocket to this zip. So? That's the way things are these days. Let's just put a zip here, a swastika there. Why not? Who knows what these things were once used for? Who the hell even cares? I don't like when men or women but what's try to like Blair take going to outfits. do? Maybe you'll become an ethical porn star. <laughs> <laughs> or a supergroup. Blair on guitar, Bono on vocals, Clinton on sax. Yeah, that is definitely going to happen. Geldof's going to shit. Hi, guys. See you, hey. Ben. Hey, man. Right. Oh, my God. You're what? Why are you wearing that? <laughs> Sophie bought it for me, and I, I decided to wear it home. <laughs> How funny. It's not funny, Mark. It's not funny at all. Hmm? Take it off. Take it off right now. What? Why? Just take it off. We'll talk about why after you've taken it off. Well, what's wrong with us wearing the same clothes? Are, are you embarrassed that we're... No, not that. Just, you know, we're clashing. We're not clashing, we're matching. That's the opposite of clashing. It's exactly the fucking same as clashing, all right? Just take it off. No, it's new. I'm, I'm wearing it in. All right, fine. If you're taking this down to the wire, fine. I blink. You win, okay? Jesus. 
Sorry, but we'd better get going. Look, it was really nice of Sophie inviting me, but I've actually got loads of really important stuff I need to do this weekend. Jeremy, a carton of Mars bar milk, a small bag of marijuana, and a pirated DVD of Anchorman is not important stuff. <laughs> she, she really wants you to come. <clears throat> You're sort of part of the family now. But what about your... For some people, that is important stuff. What? Oh, the... the... Bags of weed and... It is. DVD rips of Anchorman. Sounds like a fun time. I like Anchorman. <laughs> Your doubts. Your crippling doubts. Look, uh, picked up Music of the Royal Tournament for only two ninety nine. Pretty tasty. Or are you just going to bury your doubts until they erupt as a massive stroke and I have to carry you around on my back for 30 years? Look, I, I know I might have mentioned some doubts, but th that was pub talk. You can't bring up pub talk in the cold light of day. You know how I get after the pub, like when I ordered the abdominizer. But besides, she, she's good for me, Jez. She's dragging me into the 21st century with its meaningless logos and ironic veneration of tyrants. It's, it, it's all good, my friend. It's, it's all good. <laughs> I think that facial hair is going to make a good brain. impression. Hit my Why key features. I'm dependable, but not afraid of the occasional premium lager. Mommy! Hello, darling. Hi, Daddy. Hi, sweetheart. Mm. So, a welcome to the Chapman homestead. Great to meet you. The, the feeling's mutual. You look different from your photo. Is the beard new? I thought it would give him a bit of edge. Oh, I think he's going like short with the hair soon, too. Makes you look handsome, like a policeman. You wanted this. I do like beards. What? I don't make you keep it, though. Oh, thank you. You're obviously very attractive, too. <laughs> oh, what next? Am I going to tell her she's got lovely tits? So what do you think I'm doing so far? Relax, Mark. They like you. <coughs> of course, she would say that. How do you think it's going, Jez? Oh, pretty good. Seven out of ten. Just keep hitting oh, those he's there, pieces. too. Cool. Yeah. Poor he was like, bastard. You have to part of the the women are going to make marriage mincemeat out of him. He's like a wedding burger, and they're the buns. So I love the outrageous. I'm sorry? Your check. This is outrageous! So I've played it to me. All oh, right, that, shit. You ever been to the Big Chill? Uh, no. Yeah, I went year before last, but it was a bit much. Well, I took four cans with me, and then this guy from security came up, and he said he was from security, but I don't think he really was from security. Anyway, then Dad came and picked me up. Okay, that's an interesting story. Great. I'm sitting at the children's table. I'm with the kids. I'm not part of the family at all. I'm the rubber toy brought along for the weirdo to chew on. Everybody behind me, keep your guns low. Oh, oh here God. we go. The first fiancé <coughs> challenge and I've got a gun. An actual gun. It's okay. It, it's perfectly normal. This is the country. This is what farmers do. They go around shooting crows and trespassers and eventually, because of the EU, themselves. So then I went to Warwick. <laughs> But I left after a term. They're all a bunch of fakers. I still got the bag they gave me at the Freshers' Fair, though. Pretty cool bag. I'll show it to you later if you want. Mm -hmm. Jamie, where's it all gone? Jamie doesn't shoot. Oh, do, do not believe in. Not allowed. Don't ask why. Don't ask. Mm -hmm. Don't tell. Oh, right. I'm very nervous that Jeremy is in the back. Yeah, me too. With the weapon, because I'm he, nervous that both of he's them have very a capable of doing something very stupid. No, of course he's not allowed, because he's Mark Chapman in the making, and I'm very much a 21st century lemon. There you go, move so, up, Jeremy. I'm Jamie's bum boy. Is that it? I'm the fluffer. I'm going home, Mark. Jeremy, please, I need to make a good impression. Jamie's not such a bad guy. Stay. And what if I don't? Are you going to shoot me? Of course I'm not going to shoot you. If you shoot me, I'll shoot you straight back. Oh, you do realise that. Guns. OK, here don't we go. Point guns. Grab a sight against the shoulder. I, I got one! I got one! Congratulations. You've killed a sentient being. Well done, Mark. But you only winged it. Oh, it, is that not... No, you've got to finish it off. Oh, right. No, don't shoot it, God! What, what sh shall I...? Don't stamp on it, Jesus. Ring its neck. Its... neck? Yes, ring its neck. It's suffering. This is the ultimate good impression test. If I can do this, I'll never have to carve a chicken or discuss spark plugs or prove I love his daughter. I don't think now, I be I careful do you that. don't. Oh, my God! You've pulled its bloody head off. There's blood all over me! Please. <laughs> I am like that. He 
fucking went rock. Could you do that? <clears throat> Probably. I don't know. Birds that like, in, in terms of, uh, I mean, they've probably seen before. We have a lot of sympathy towards animals. Yeah. But when it comes to stuff that's on the ground and stuff that's in the air, and I was actually talking about this in a recent video. Uh, birds is like, it's like, it, it, it in my mind, they're like I'm further removed from <clears throat> the sympathy tree. See, I, I guess I'm being kind of biased because like, I, I can, too. I can fish. I can go fishing, catch a fish, kill a fish, eat a fish, and that doesn't bother me. Right. But I think that's because I grew up doing that, you know? So to me, it's, like, gone out of my mind of being, like, wrong. This, yeah. I've never killed a bird. <laughs> it feels weird. Have you ever squeezed a bird? <laughs> These coffees for the huntsman. No teas for the beastmaster, thanks. He feasts on the blood of his prey. <laughs> oh my God. There you go. It's got a bit of a head on, but I'm oh, sure you'll see to that in a hurry. Oh, Dad, don't go on about it. It was horrible. Okay, well, I'll leave you two together. Uh, I'm sorry? Sophie and Penny thought it might be nice if you and I had an evening together. Oh, great. A, a whole evening. And I'm taking Jamie to Guildford. There's this gig in a pub, and he thinks maybe they'll let him play at the end. Who knows? Maybe they will. Okay. See you boys later. Oh, shit. Oh, no. So... I have very little to say to my closest friends. What the hell am I going to say to a fully grown man for a whole night? You're the man who's going to marry my Sophie. That's me, all right. Probably. And you love her? Uh -huh, yes, I do, sir. Ugh, sir. This isn't Tennessee, Mark. Because that's all I care about. Because <laughs> if there's one little crack of doubt, after 30 years, well, never get older. That's all I'm saying. Right. Yeah, that, that's good advice. Oh, God, here we go. He's got no one else to talk to but the sheep and the trees. This is what happens if you live too far from proper franchised coffee outlets. You need the love, Mark, because the physical stuff, that goes, inevitably. That all goes. Well, that's good, because me and Soph, it's, you know, love. All oh, my <laughs> fear of loneliness and... Right, you like that? Love. He's like so over this already. Yeah. He's like, fuck this guy. That all goes. <laughs> well, that's good because me and Soph, it's, you know, love. Well, all my fear of loneliness and her strong desire to get pregnant by almost anyone, so long as it happens this year. Oh. Hello. Ugh, alone with the mum. Just act normal. She doesn't know I'm not wearing any pants. Jez, I'm so delighted about you and Jamie. He hasn't had a proper friend since he was 13. Oh, right, yeah. I mean, we only watched The Lion King and his Fat Boy Slim DVD. Listen, I've been thinking. What with Ian's mum passed away? We've got the Volvo and the Subaru. Maybe you could have her all golf. Wow. You could come and see us at, and Jamie. Right. Well, brilliant. One Jezmobile. No strings attached. I mean, obviously, loads of strings, but just ignore the strings. So, what you making, Mrs. C? Just some Blair resignation jam. Oh, right, Blair. Yeah, I see. Nice. I theme my germs. Makes them more fun. Cool. Very cool. Do you like jam? Oh, uh, yep. Yes. Sometimes I feel like I could do with a friend out here. Yeah, that's, it's good to have a friend. Have a proper taste. Suck mommy's finger. Right. <laughs> Oh my god, he's gonna do it too! <laughs> oh my god, he's always in the weirdest Suck situation. Suck mommy's finger. Yeah, is that how you want me to feed you jam? Please. <laughs> yeah? Okay. Oh my god. I feel like I could do with a friend out here. Yeah, that's, it's good to have a friend. Have a proper taste. Suck mommy's finger. Do I suck the finger? Good? Mmm. Very good. Oh. I mean, I've got a girlfriend. Try the Diana Memorial Strawberry. Okay. I'm finger sucking. Is this wrong? <laughs> Maybe this is totally normal. Maybe this is what they do in the country. 
Good. You like it, don't you? Yeah. Yes, I do like it. Try this. Maybe she just likes having her fingers sucked. I mean, I don't mind, but eventually it's going to get cloying. I expect you've noticed that Ian's a little older than me. He used to enjoy doing lots of things that he doesn't like doing anymore. No, yeah, I'm, I'm sure. So, there you are. I'm a woman. Indeed. And you're a man. Technically, mm-hmm, yes. So what are you going to do about that? OK, it's not going to be just the jam. So what <laughs> am I going to do? It's almost like a moral decision, but not really, because no-one will find out. That's not why you don't do something. <laughs> he definitely did that shit. Oh, my God. It was Jerry, man. He's, if you gave him <clears throat> the right decision or the wrong decision, he He's would choose... He's going to pick the wrong one. He would choose the latter every time. Goodbye, beard. Hello, familiar, stupid face. Aww. So... How'd it go down the pub? Make a good impression? Uh, yeah, yeah, I think so. But it got me thinking oh, about own room? Sophie and, and the wedding and how I probably don't properly love her. Yeah? Hmm. Yes. I, I think, I think I'm going to call it off, Jez. Wow, that's. I'm impressed, Mark. Could go for a high five. Probably not the most appropriate time. So is that why the beard? Yes. I thought you liked the beard. Well, I had to pretend that, even to myself. I mean, what sort of man would grow an unwanted beard to order? So, when are you going to call it off? Well, I, d I don't know. It's difficult. I mean, ideally, it would be somewhere with nice surroundings. Yeah? Somewhere with flowers, coffee and sedatives, medical assistance. Maybe with music, but not, not too jaunty, but melancholy music. Right. So, where are you planning to find this magical musical breakup hospital? <laughs> oh, shit. That, that'll be Sophie looking for Nookie. I can't see her now. Pretend to be asleep. Why don't you just finish it now? I can't do it now. You don't just declare war, Jeremy. You, you prime the press, you square the UN, you make up your reasons. Snow. What? <laughs> I heard you snoring, but you're not. Asleep? No, just practicing. <laughs> I was showing Jeff. <laughs> these guys are. Oh head. my god, these guys are basket cases, oh dude. Oh my god. I heard you snoring, but you're not asleep. No, just practicing. I was showing Jeremy some techniques. I'm sure Jeremy's got plenty of his own techniques. I just wanted to check you were back OK, Mark, and say how lovely it is to have you both here. Night. Watch, watch, look at him. Please, no. Please tell me no. What? That, the smutty smile. Jeremy, please tell me that nothing's going on there. Nothing is going on there. Let's just say that nothing is going on there. Yeah. Actually, I did want to tell someone. I mean, it was so cool. She had all this jam. Oh, my God, you didn't. You fucked her. Oh, Jeremy, you need <laughs> That was the best little, like... <laughs> F boy. Like... Yo, play that face again. <laughs> yeah. Yo. Holy oh shit. Oh, God. Look at that face. Actually, I did want to tell someone. I mean, it was so cool. She had all this jam. Oh, my God, you didn't. You fucked Jerry, you have <laughs> chemical castration. You're out of control. That's Sophie's mother. She's hot. She's not out of Hollyoaks, Jeremy. She probably had a ration book. Oh, you're a piece of work, aren't you? I'm down the pub putting the hours in with the dad, and you're back in the house banging the mum. That is not a good impression. I don't know. I think I made a pretty good impression. Uh, oh Jeremy, my God. please, don't, don't smile like that. You're not James Bond. You're disgusting. I am James Bond. <laughs> He's so proud of himself. I'm sorry you have to be out here with me watching this. It's just me walking about, basically. Penny wanted us out of the house, and what Penny wants, Penny gets. No, it, it's fine. I mean, if I wasn't here, I'd just be sitting around with Soph, and I can see her any time. So come on, Mark. Why haven't you told her yet? Shh, can he hear? He can't hear. Can you, you big fox-hunting, badger-baiting, tweed-shirt, bumfuck homophobe? Oh, shit. 
Bottle cap. Another one for the collection. So come on, are you having second thoughts? I don't know. Maybe. I mean, she's so nice. So what if I don't really love her? Charles didn't really love Diana and they were all right. Sort of. You don't really love Sophie? <laughs> what? No. That's what you said. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. No, no, b because of distortion. There was probably a buzz that there might be an ancient Saxon coin right here. Stop it, Mark. I heard every word. And for the record, Jeremy, I may be a homophobe, but I'm no badger beta. <laughs> oh, no. So, I like your barn, Ian. It's full of crap no one has any use for. Maybe that's why I feel so at home here. Huh. Mark, if you don't love Sophie, you shouldn't marry her. Yes, that's what I've actually been thinking. That's what I'm gonna tell her. You know what's crazy to me? Like, he's been obsessed with her for, like, so long, and then he finally... That happens sometimes. ...gets her, and he's like, this woman's crazy. I think that that happens sometimes. I think, I think put, it does, too. This is, like, the psychology major side coming out of me, but you put so much expectation into going into a relationship, and you get so excited, and you work that person up to be more and, like, greater than they actually are because of your imagination, and then you date them, and you're like, oh... Makes like, sense. This yeah. isn't what I thought it was going to be. Or yeah, y they can't succeed to the person you imagined in your head before you dated them. Yeah, that's why it's good to just. It happened around season three with them because he finally yeah. got her, and then he was like, she had kind of gone off the deep end. In yeah, terms she of did go a little crazy. Screws loose, but um, that's when he was like, eh, I don't know about this anymore. Yeah. But then, yeah, the last episode. Of season three, <clears throat> because you didn't see it, but um, he kind of like accidentally proposed to her. Oh, he accidentally did. Yeah, and oh, then no. she was like, made like a huge thing about it. How he's like, oh no, I'm trapped. Propose to someone. I don't know. I don't know. Like you, trip, he did it though. You trip and fall on your knee, and then it rains on the floor, and you're like, "What is this?" And then they're yeah, like, that could happen. I guess so. Yeah. The good impression thermometer is reaching absolute zero. For what it's worth, I'm sorry. You know what? I'm glad. I'd rather you came clean now than start something that's not right. That actually takes balls. Well, th thank you. Sometimes I wish I had the guts to say something. Do something. What would you do if you were trapped in a loveless marriage? If you knew your wife was cheating on you. Shit. <gasps> you know what? I'd probably just leave it. Let it slide. So, what's the best bit of metal you've ever detected? I know my wife. And I know who the culprit is, Jeremy. Oh, my oh, God. That's no. why he brought us out here. He's going to kill me. Can you kill someone with a metal detector? Uh, Ian, I, I just want to say that I, I know that people can be very stupid and selfish, but it, it, really, it's our fast food culture of instant gratification you should be angry with, not... Dan. Fucking Dan Walker. Oh, thank you, Dan, whoever you are. Penny's <laughs> probably been doing his curtains all day. Out you lot go, I'm ramming Dan. Oh, yeah, it was Ramadan at his place today. But he's not... Ramadan. Dan, what a filthy... Maybe it's time I did something. Show Dan who the Lord of the Manor is around here. What do you think? Uh, well, maybe we should just... Yeah, let's get Dan. Punish Dan. <laughs> there it is. Dan's barn. Or you could just post something negative on the internet or blank him in the post office. That, that would send out a pretty horrible message. This is the law of the jungle. This is an eye for an eye. And you're sure you're poking the right man in the eye? <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Well, this is not what I expected. You think you'll be playing Simpsons Monopoly? I'm going to tell you what I think those are called, and then you correct me. Okay. Bottle Moth Cocktail. <laughs> I know that's wrong. Am I close? Bottle Moth. <laughs> Bottle Moth Cocktail. Am I close? Didn't you do this before? Yes, because this is what frustrates me. I can never remember the correct name for those. It's a Molotov cocktail. Molotov? What is a Molotov? Molotov. I was close. Bottle moth? <laughs> yeah. It's 
Sounds like a Star Wars villain. <laughs> Bottle moth cocktail. Okay, moth <laughs> moth ball cocktail. <laughs> What did you say? We can't save the rebellion yet. We have to see Bottle Moth. <laughs> I can never remember the names of them. And I was trying to tell someone a story about someone throwing those into um, an, element uh, an elementary school, like a, oh, what is it? Baseball field. Mm -hmm. And I was like, yeah, they were Bottle Moth cocktails. And they told me the name. And why do you, why you got Molotov off cocktails around a baseball field? Huh? Uh, cause these people were like 12 and they made them and then they just wanted to throw them. Dan, 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 dan. This is for, uh, they wanted to throw them somewhere that they thought, I didn't throw them, wanted to throw them somewhere where they thought like it couldn't catch on fire. So they thought that the baseball field wouldn't catch on fire because uh, get back here. <laughs> they thought the baseball field wouldn't catch on fire because. There wasn't, like, a lot of trees and stuff around. Still grass everywhere. It did catch on fire. Yeah. Yeah. Does that. Hi. And you're sure you're poking the right man in the eye? Light it. Well, this is not what I expected. You think you'll be playing Simpsons Monopoly, and you end up an arsonist. Still, at least it's not me he's trying to incinerate. What was all that about? Trying to get him to poke me in the eye? Let him poke Dan in the eye. Right, so instead of you facing up to your responsibilities, poor old Dan's gonna wake up with his barn burnt, saying goodbye to his no claims bonus. Look, stop moaning. We're out with a man who owns guns. You're chucking his daughter, and I've screwed his wife. Tonight uh, is going, if a bit weird, extremely fucking well for us. I suppose you're right. Plus, maybe burning stuff is not normal, but less of a big deal out here than it is in a major conurbation. Exactly. I nick your milk, you burn my barn. Like scrumping for apples. That'll teach him to put his dick where it's not wanted. Yeah, take that, Barney. Oh, God, I'm a fire starter. A twisted fire starter. You ready for your big birthday surprise? Yeah. <laughs> Keep up, everybody. I'm a motherfucker. That's literally what I am. <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday. Hope it'll be a memorable day. Of course it's going to be memorable. The day she's humiliated and broken in front of her family. So what happened with the beard? We didn't get a chance to speak. Oh, that, well, when I was shaving, I sort of slipped and I, I tried evening it out, but it just got smaller and smaller until I looked like an evil overlord, so I just lost it. Oh, the new look. Oh, no. Yes, your jurisdiction over my face is hereby rescinded. Shit. But can I really break it to her? Should I? I mean, she's lovely. She's attractive. She does irritate me, but everyone irritates me. So I was wondering if you'd listen to my track. Probably shit, but you could smoke a joint and it might sound all right. Mm-hmm. Great. So it must be amazing, London. What's it like down the King's Road? Oh, cool. It's got a Pret, it's got a Virgin Express, it's got a Gap, and a massive Cafe Nero. Cool. He thinks I'm his way into the music biz. Forget it. Music's full. Ta-da! Nana's cottage. It's yours. And Mark's. To do whatever you want with. Oh, Mum! Oh, my God. Nana probably needs the roof and brickwork looked at, but apart from that, this is premium real estate. Quick sale, then cottage in the Ardennes. Or a flat in Barcelona. Oh, Mark! Nana's house, and it's all ours! I know. Oh, Who cares if I don't know if I properly love her? She could have the flat in Barcelona. I can live in the Ardennes. We'd hardly see each other. Well, uh, there's five minutes left. Let's see how south this goes. Oh, my gosh. Because I think it's still going <coughs> to... I think the dad's going to... Gonna tell her. Gonna tell her, or, yeah. Because yeah. he I keeps mean, looking at him like, I, yeah, like come on, son. Yeah, you can't keep, can't keep it up. No. So you must have listened to my track by now, right? Mm-hmm. Yes. What'd you like about it? I like the lyrics. There aren't any lyrics. It's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. <laughs> I've got the music. Hold on. Stop. <laughs> Whoa, what has she got on her head? It's like a princess hat. Happy birthday! Happy birthday! I'll break up with her. 
Happy birthday, happy what is that birthday. Guy doing? <laughs> happy birthday, happy birthday. Happy birthday, <laughs> happy birthday sweetheart. Oh, thanks, Dad. God, this old thing. <laughs> happy birthday. For a second, I thought she was trying to dress up as a clansman. No, that's a birth. That's a princess hat. That's yeah, I know. I saw it, but at the, when she was at the top of the stairs, all I saw was the pointy shit. Yeah. And I You're was like, like, is she a clansman? <laughs> Ow. Ow. What happened? Pregnant issues. Pregnant issues? Yeah. Uh-oh. Come on, Mark. You've got to grasp the nettle, mate. I really don't want you to leave it too late. Right. It, it's just, as, as a matter of fact, I've, I've had a bit of a think, and um, I'm... I'm not really sure. I, I want. To, I don't think I want to. Is this because of Nana's cottage? God, no, not not because of Nana's oh, cottage. Of, of course not. House. There are a lot of factors. Like what? Myriad factors. I, I can't just think off the top of my head. You either love her or you don't. Hey, nice to see you two getting on. What are you chinwagging about? Oh, just metal. Oh. And the fact that I don't really love you. So. Dan Walker's barn. Apparently, it looks suspicious. Oh no, poor Dan! Uh, boo hoo, poor old Dan. Maybe you should make that your last glass. Poor, poor Dan. Poor old Dan. There's okay, a reason you're so sad for Dan, isn't there? Because you're such good friends with Dan, aren't you, Pen? For God's sake, Ian. Dad? Uh, anyone for a game of risk? Let's play another game. Cranium? The truth game. Oh, Penny yep, doesn't want to play. You it. How about you, Mark? Me? Tell us the truth. The, the truth? You, you can't handle the truth. Tell everyone. Come clean about you and Sophie. Do you know, I fancy a, a nap. A, a nice, relaxing nap. Tell them you don't want to marry her. <laughs> Mark? <laughs> oh, shit! Oh, that is a, a terrible thing to say. Tell the truth. <clears throat> the truth? The, the truth is that I love Sophie very much and, and I'm very much looking forward to marrying her. You, Mark, are a greedy little fool. Well, I may be many things, but at least I'm not a barn burner. <gasps> right. Thank you. He did it. He, he made me and Jeremy watch so we'd be accessories to the crime, but I'm breaking down your wall of silence, Ian. Even if you did threaten to break my fingers. Is this true? Well, I, I did see him throw a petrol bomb, but <laughs> I thought that might be a joke. You Backstabbing little shit! I'm, I'm sorry, Sophie, that, that wasn't true. It's not your fault, it gets like this. Yes, he, he, he has gone like a bit of a maniac. In, in fact, I, I think it's probably time you took your leave, Ian. Yes. Why don't you piss off up to bed and leave me to pick up the pieces as usual? Jesus! Sod you all! OK, in a way, I've made a good impression. I mean, it wasn't me who set fire to the barn or screwed Penny. In fact, I'm winning. I'm getting half a rural cottage, and all I have to do is enter a loveless husk of a marriage. Oh, my God! Now I feel bad for Sophie. Do you think some people do that? Yeah. Yeah. I think a lot of people do that. I do, too. It's sad. It is sad. I mean, Don't yeah. marry someone unless you love them. <clears throat> It's interesting to think about, though, because, like, sometimes the marriages are, like, you know, kind of, like, financial arrangements. No, I'm sure a lot of, even, like, in most countries, in, like, not most countries, but, yeah, in a lot of places, that's what it is. Yeah. But even here, like, a lot of times people marry just because they know they're going to get something out of the marriage. I mean, our divorce rate is... Stupid high. It's over 50%. It goes up every year. Yeah. Yeah, and how many people do we know who have step parents and Which mixed families are beautiful, there's nothing wrong with that, yeah. but we both come from mixed families, but still. Like I know friends I know people my age that are divorced already and they're twenty seven. Yeah. So yeah. crazy. Gotta be sure. Yeah. Um what was the other thing? I like I'm kind of the opposite because my pet, like, my brothers and sisters, even though I would never say that, but say this, like, to them, because I yeah. would consider them that, but they're half-brothers and sisters, because my parents were 
married to other people before. Yeah. Well, like, I have three. <laughs> like, how many sisters do I have? I have three sisters. I always say four, because I like a, like I'm one of four. Mm. But I have three sisters, and one of them's from a different dad, but she's my sister. Yeah. So, I'm the same way. Yeah. But it's just interesting to think about. It is. But the, uh... <clears throat> but yeah, in terms of like, I feel like this happens more often than we think it does. No, I'm sure like, it does. Marriage is for like financial arrangements or somebody's, yeah. like you said, somebody's getting something out of it. I got nothing, so he loves me for me. Yeah. <laughs> I love you so much, so don't worry I got about it. humor and a brain. You got a Muppet is what you got. <laughs> Love you. Love you. Dad has gone to his sisters, so I think I'd better stay over a couple more nights till Mum's feeling okay. Am I evil? I don't feel evil. It's a nice cottage. He did burn the barn. Maybe I've gone over the edge. I like I'm the no dad, longer though. Right from wrong. I did too. Maybe I'm capable of murder. It would certainly make life more interesting. Get yourself a nice tank of petrol. Okay, thanks. Come back soon. Yeah, right. So your husband can kill me and your son can worship my stuffed corpse and you can wheel me out for a fuck. No thank you. <laughs> See you in London, Sophie. Bye. Love you. I love you too. It's okay. Everyone says it. I say I love hagen and my broadband provider. And I like Sophie more than them. In most respects. Let's get the hell out of here. I'm coming to London. Let me in. I'm coming to London too. Floor it. I am fucking flooring it. <laughs> God. Jeez, peep show. It's definitely elevated since the last time I've seen it. Yeah, it's it's getting wackier and wackier, which is hard to do with these with these two yeah. trucks. Um, I like the dad though. Like when I, I when he first showed up, I was yeah. like, oh no, it's one of these rich asshole jerk yeah. dads. But no, you know, as we progressed, I was like, no, this I like this guy. You know what part I actually like respected? Hmm. When he found out like he didn't love Sophie or whatever. Like at first he wasn't like, oh screw you, like get the hell. He was like, look, man, like you gotta he was like, you gotta tell her. Like yeah. he was a real person with him. And then he kind of blew it, but <laughs> And then uh Mark found out he was getting that cottage and he was like, yeah. Oh well. I now I gotta do this. Being mad that his wife cheated. Yeah. I'd burn down a bar, too. Would you? What if I told you to burn down a barn? Huh? What if I told you to burn down a barn for I'd me? Do it. Would you do it? Yeah. I'm a ride or die. It's a good woman right there. <laughs> I got you. Find yourself a good woman, Boom <laughs> Boomer Rights. All right. Well, that was good. Um, that was really good. Fucking Jeremy. <laughs> That face. I, know, I, gotta, I was about to say. When I go back and look the, through this, I'm gonna find that face he made and make it. He's like, definitely. you beeped her, and he's like, <laughs> I I couldn't make that face even if I tried. That was funny. One of the most evil faces I've ever seen. But anyway, thank you for watching the reaction. Oh, all right. Notice our dog has a little cone on her head. She did very good on her surgery. She so did. thank you, everyone, if you thought of her and sent her little doggy prayers. Yeah, she did she's doing very good. good. She's industrial. This is nothing can hurt this dog. She's on track. Yeah, we got she's all these doggy sleeping. drugs and it doesn't even do anything to her. She's like, what? Yeah, she's crazy all day. I think she's finally worn out. Yeah. All right, guys. We'll see you next time. Bye. Peace.